Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. Again, we are going to be doing some torture testing on red dots and I have been kind of recently sent a lot of kind of Amazon special red dots to see if they are going to hold up. Some of them have done well, some of them not so well. Uh, but this time we are going to be looking at the Vector Optics Frenzy is what this is called. And this red dot is probably not going to be my first choice when it comes to red dots coming in at $125 or less. But what I did find was it did hold up better than expected. So there is that as well. A quick once over on this, this is going to be a red dot mounted onto a doctor footprint. So keep that in mind as you are looking into one of these, if you're interested in it. It has a uh, 17 millimeter by 24 millimeter window, a three MOA dot. It has up to 40,000 hours of battery life, depending on the setting that you have it on. Uh, realistically, on a medium to low setting, it's probably going to be more like that 10,000 hour battery life, and it is running on a bottom mounted 2032 battery as well. You have on the left side here, your controls very much like a uh, Vortex Venom, and it's going to have like 10 brightness settings and supposedly one night vision setting as well. So uh, keep all of that in mind as I am doing this video for you guys. Uh, naturally it has its elevation and windage uh, on the top and side. And that is one thing that I will say for this optic was a little uh, difficult for me to grasp in trying to zero this. There's no detents or clicks on these uh, windage and elevation adjustments. So you're kind of guessing at how far you need to go and where each one of these little notch indicators, what, what does that really mean? Is it a quarter MOA? Is it a half MOA? One MOA? I don't know. That's one thing. Number two is these are not point of aim adjustments. These are point of impact adjustments. So keep that in mind as well. It took me probably, man, it took me probably 30 rounds to get this zeroed. And I thought it was because the red dot was moving after each time I shot this. But at the end of the day, it wasn't. I was just over adjusting these because again I had no basis of understanding how far or how little to go each and every single time so ultimately once I got it zeroed at 25 yards it it, it did just fine <laughs> so there's that okay so let's talk about the torture testing uh, as you can see on the front of here it did take some significant damage um, and I was thinking that this would not hold up to what I was putting it through. I've seen other red dots that I've tested and haven't done a video on because they're garbage and I'm not even gonna waste my time. But uh, realistically, uh, in those cases, the electronics on the inside broke away, broke free, and the dot went like way left or way right. So this was exactly what I was expecting on this red dot. I dropped it several times onto the shooting bench at my indoor range. Um, I did hold on to the firearm so it didn't fall to the ground, but about three foot drop and then I banged it against the table as well. I then put five rounds on target to see where it was hitting and then put another five rounds in a magazine, racked it against the table and put five rounds um, on target racking the red dot against the table each time. And I found that there was no significant change in zero. So that was pleasant, but that was only like at five Ooh. yards.
couple more, couple more rounds. What would that do further on downrange? Because that would show a significant change in zero if there was anything going on. Put three rounds downrange and those were within acceptable tolerances for the zero that I had at 25 yards. One round was right where I was aiming. Another round was within two inches and the other one I think was maybe three inches away. So uh, acceptable zero at 25 yards. Uh, and I found personally no significant change in zero after everything I did to it. So what can you say about uh, this particular red dot? Uh, it, it, it's going to work, I guess. If you are strapped for cash and you need a budget option, say less than $125, this is one of the options that are out on the market today, especially someplace easy like um, Amazon. It's going to be on there. The thing that I will caution you on is the fact that this is on a doctor's footprint. And while that is extremely popular in Europe, especially for like the Ipsic style competition shooting that is done over there, which is why it's on a Grand Power uh, Excalibur match, because that's a doctor footprint. Um, I personally don't own any other firearm that has a doctor footprint. It's either RMR or RMSC. And that kind of left me scratching my head why Vector Optics would choose a doctor footprint to introduce into the U.S. market and not have a RMR or an RMSC version as well. But that's the route that they went. If you like doctor footprint, this is a budget option that you could throw on a uh, truck gun or something that you just want to plank with or, you know, something inexpensive. This is an option. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. Are these types of red dots worth getting into? Uh, I personally am seeing that these red dots are actually becoming better and better each and every single year. Uh, I know that Siley is one of those types of companies that have a pretty decent budget option for a number of different categories that you might be looking for, and they've been holding up very well. This one is holding up fairly well as well. So let you guys figure it out for yourself whether or not this is going to be something for you. I would say it's acceptable and uh, leave it at that. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for swinging by. I sure do appreciate everybody's support of the channel. If you haven't already checked out the Live Laugh LARP podcast, I encourage you guys to do that. But as always, freedom through strength. Get out of here. Catch you guys later. Here comes a high five. Bye, y'all.